Hey everybody, this is Mr. Keeney. Um, this is the first of your geometry remote learning lessons. And the first thing we're going to go over is uh, area and perimeter of triangles. So first of all, if we have a triangle, um, we want to, and I'm going to talk about area first. And most of you probably know this already, but area is one half times the base times the height. Uh, some of you might write this as base times height divided by two. That is the same thing. That is fine. Um, and perimeter, we would think to add up the sides. So uh, add all sides together, um, however you go about doing that. So I'm going to do probably just one of these example problems down here for you and maybe talk about why do we have this area formula. So here's a triangle. And just want to remind you that we want to make sure that our height and base are perpendicular to each other. So our base and our height. Our height goes from our base up to the very top vertex, and it is forming a right angle with that base. Uh, sometimes we have right triangles, which then uh, the height is actually one of our sides, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and then again, if we were to find, like right here, if I want to find the perimeter, it would be base times height times, uh, not times, excuse me, base plus height plus the hypotenuse would get my perimeter. Uh, how we get this, so I'm going to bring up, this is a parallelogram here, and a lot of you know that the area of a parallelogram is base times height. Uh, I just want to show you that if I were to take this parallelogram, cut it in half, and get rid of this part right here, I take it away, I think you're starting to see that this is a triangle, so the area of this triangle would still be base times height, which is the parallelogram, I would just take half of it. So that's where the one half comes into play. I don't know if you guys have seen that. So I wanted to show you an example. So down here, it says find the perimeter in the area of the triangles, the following triangles. Area equals one half base times height. And we'll deal with perimeter here in a second. Uh, I'm given this height right here. I know it's the height because it forms a right angle with this side, which is going to match as, or which is going to be my base. Um, so I'm just going to plug in values. Area equals one half times the base times the height. My base is nine. My height is nine. Um, so then I'm just multiplying these together. I'm going to keep the one half out there for now. Nine times nine is 81. And half of 81, we do get a decimal. That is fine. 40.5. And then our units will be inches squared or square inches, however you want to say it. Uh, when dealing with area, it is square units. We are in the second dimension measuring 2D area. For my perimeter, I'm adding all three sides together. For this one, we were very nice. They gave us all three sides, 9, 10, and 10, which will be the distance around my shape. 9 plus 10 plus 10, I'm getting 29 inches. This one is just the first dimension units, and just the first power is just measuring a distance. So uh, there's two examples for you. Um, on the extra resources, I show my work for the next one and the questions on the back of this. Um, and we've also provided some practice, practice problems for you. Uh, please feel free to review this. Um, if you have any questions, we've provided those resources. Or even feel free to email me uh, during this break. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you again.